everyone, Paul Daniels here again. Now, the other day, some of you may have seen, I did a video where I repaired a power supply, and in it there was a capacitor, and normally these capacitors are um, stabilized physically in there to stop them breaking off or developing fatigue uh, on their legs using either polyurethane or silicon and such. Now, you can buy the silicon tubes moderately cheap, usually about eight to ten dollars. Uh, you get about, uh, I don't know, I think it's about 150 milliliters per tube, but they still always run out, usually before you end up using it all. So I went down the hardware store and I bought myself just this uh, usual large typical canister. We've got 300 grams here, cheap clear silicon, which seems to work quite well. It doesn't tend to be conductive. It's a neutral cure, non-corrosive. Uh, don't get the acid cure, or you'll lose your electronics for sure, probably. And I decided to put it into one of these 5mm uh, syringes. I would probably go 10mm syringes in future, but for the demonstration here, we're going to use these 5mm ones. This is all I've got, and it's uh, approaching 11 o'clock already. Now, the tips I've got on here, this is like a brown tip, and it looks like a dark orange, or perhaps up dark orange, I can't speak to now. Olive, uh, dark green. I got these off eBay. These are actually just dispensing tips. They've got both the threaded uh, inset for things like uh, these large flux containers, or you can actually just pressure fit, slide them over, friction fit, like that. So I think I bought 110 of various sizes for about five dollars, so it's pretty cheap. Anyway, now the trick with getting the silicon into here is not so much, I mean it's obvious I'm going to put the nozzle in there, uh, but just the method in doing it will save you a lot of drama. So you separate it out. Now you can see on here that the nozzle is offset to one side. You want to keep that up and you'll see why in a few bits. So I've got my excessively large tube here. I'll just put this out of the way and that out of the way. Now the key here is don't try to fill it completely up like I did with the other one. That was an experiment. But rather lay it down the bottom half and don't obstruct the path for the tube, uh, the outlet. The reason being is when you put the plunger back in, you want to be able to push the silicon up to expel all the air without trying to push any silicon out. So let's give it a go. Yeah. Try not to get my I've got my arm hooked on the damn thing already. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Okay, here we go. Like I said, you're not really wanting to fill this up 100%. It's awkward anyway if you fill it up all the way. Okay, there's plenty. Uh, by all the way, I mean trying to get... Uh, right. Okay, so let's see if this is visible. You can see I've only used perhaps 50% of the content space there, the volume. Alright. Now we won't put the dispenser on yet. So we'll get this in here. And let's hope this works. <laughs> there we go. As I push it, you can see last it fills up nicely. Okay. And now we're getting the right yeah. Uh let's see. There's something I can put this on. Scrap of paper with a million other things on it. There we go. Let me dispense out. There we go. Nice, easy, controlled silicon dispenser. So we've used, let's say, about three and a half milliliters of space there. So if I went for a 10 mil syringe, that would be about probably five or six milliliters all up, which is plenty for most projects. Now there is an air bubble in there. Now the silicon is moisture curing, so whatever moisture in there is going to cause a bit of curing, but hopefully it's not too much. Now the next issue is going to be people going, well it's just going to seal up in here uh, by curing. 
So you can either just take the risk and like push out a little bit there just to form a bit of a plug. I don't know if that's going to show up much. Uh, or the other way is leave it immersed up, down, upside down like this into either um, a small amount of oil, mineral oil, something like that. Anything to keep the moisture out. And then you should be fine. And this is certainly a much easier way of dispensing silicon when you need it than trying to deal with one of these things or spending a bunch of money on the little individual use tubes. I'm actually going to probably go buy myself a um, tube of uh, 744, uh, I think it's DuPont, I'm not sure, and fill up tubes like this because that is the preferred silicon for a lot of electronics. But um, yeah, I'm not going to use even their small tubes, they're just still too big. This is a really good, convenient way of dispensing of the silicon, a lot less mess, far more controllable and a lot less wastage. It's very easy. You can just sort of perhaps keep all these in a um, uh, something like uh, these containers. Maybe even put a uh, moisture remover thing in there, though I don't know if that's going to do much chop. Anyway, so that's just the tip for the day, and I hope that's useful for some of you out there. Until next time, I'll catch you later.